I saw something like this a couple of days ago and I thought, wow, you know what? That would make a really great consumer product all by itself. This particular one is just the same size as a AA battery, only this one's square instead of round. It's half inch by half inch by two inches long. And the, the one that I was looking at, I think it only produced like uh, maybe half a volt or maybe it was even less than half a volt. And I thought, wouldn't it be great if you could make one of these things to output maybe five volts or six volts, something like that, something that would be applicable in a USB type environment. And, or maybe you needed more volts than that. Maybe you needed um, uh, eight volts, 10 volts. Could it be done in this size, in this scale? And so I took the day off yesterday from working on my E-Cube and decided, okay, I'm, I'm gonna make one because yes, you can do that. I know, I know I can do that, at least with my technology. And what's inside this one is the same thing as what's inside uh, and the materials of the um, silicon graphite cells, except there's a little bit different chemistry in this so that I can get the uh, current up a little bit higher and, um, and still maintain a, a higher amount of voltage. This particular cell is only three and a half to four volts on its output but there's a reason for that and it's because there's only four cells inside here and there's a magnet in between each one and there's a magnet on the bottom and a magnet on the top now what the purpose that they serve is just to compress those cells together because this darn thing really works great you know the the tighter it is now uh easily because it's three and a half to four volts output easily you could lose the magnets lose all the magnets and i could get this cell up to you know close to maybe 10 volts on output but um but the interesting thing with it being magnetic is here's a here's an old pair of, of steel side cutters, you know, and this thing just you can see it really, really sticks to it. So it's kind of got an advantage at, at that. Or or if you wanted to connect it to some rechargeable batteries and 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 build a little power unit on its own, here you go. I mean the thing sets up on it's it's magnetic. These things stick to it. Or you could put them end to end and have a have a six inch long uh, tube with a with the generator and then two uh, batteries that are being recharged. And these are pretty good. These these are uh, 2,650 milliamp hours. Uh, I don't know if you can you can probably read that maybe. And um, and they're they're Duracells, but they're only 1.2 volts. So two of those are still only going to be 2.4 volts. Even if you went with something like this and connected it to it, if you needed if size was an issue, then uh, you know you could have something like this. It's really small. In frame there we go <laughs> something like this really small and connected together and but these are only I think these are these are out of phone so these are 600 um, 600 milliamp hours and it's but the same thing is 2.4 volts but we want something higher than that I think the 5 to 6 volt range is probably going to be the target range or I can make some of these custom maybe 9 volts if we produce these if we go into manufacturing of these which we may uh, in the you know the thousands or tens of thousands I'm gonna have to produce them I think I'm gonna do it here in the US because if you do it in China your quality control is like shh, out the window so it's uh, it's not worth it to have any kind of failure rate out in the field I don't want a percentage of any kind of failure with something like this I want it to work you know first time every time so let's take a look at the output on this and uh, see what it's got Okay, so it's so it's over four volts, which which is fine. It's fine. Like I said, it it, it ranges between three and a half to four volts. I was trying to be modest when I said three and a half because it's usually just four volts, and and there it is. Now you can take this and put a dead short on it. Okay, keep it on there. Make sure it's good and dead. And watch. Look how fast it springs back. It just comes comes right back. So, so yes, this will run a load, and um, but I think the uh, the charging aspect of of connecting it to rechargeables is better because these have a lot greater energy density than something like this. But on the other hand, these don't produce any energy, and that does. So you know the combination of the two, or or three, 
or, <laughs> or whatever you want to do. Actually, like I said before, maybe I didn't say lithiums would probably be better than these nickel metal hydrides. But still, these are cheap and you know easy to do, and and they could all be shrink wrapped into one uh, one container. But uh, but I think these are are pretty good at this double A size. Could be any size really. I mean, think about it. But the applications for something like this would just be would be endless. All right, so now let's let's hook up a, a capacitor and uh, and let me show you and I'll short out the capacitor and show you how fast it can charge that up. Okay, just for your reference, this cap is 2200 microfarads at 10 volts. All right, I, I just connected the cap and you can see that it's charging it up and I'm going to put a dead short on it so you can see what it does from zero. So let's get that get that across the leads here there we go there it goes okay so we're all the way down to zero so it's up to well you can see you can see where it's going it's not immediate but it's not snail's pace either I mean this isn't taking minutes to to charge this cap up it's just it's just taking seconds and look it's already over two volts so charging some other kind of a storage device like this connected to the um, sorry I'm using that finger <laughs> that's connected to this is going to be uh, much better than than just the capacitor but you can see the rate at, at which that uh, charges up that cap and it's, it's pretty good so it may take some time to charge something that's got a lot of density in it, but, but well worth it. So, how about it? Do you think we're ready for a device like this about now? Let me know.